What we are witnessing, it now seems almost certain, is the beginning of the end of Richard Nixon's presidential career. How bitterly ironic, but how strangely characteristic that the climax is being hastened, has been hastened at every important juncture by the defendant himself. Before October 1973, a mere ten months ago, nobody mentioned impeachment above a whisper. Then, after the president's preemptory firing of Special Prosecutor Archibald Cox for being too nosy and the subsequent Saturday night massacre, impeachment became almost a household word. Then, just as the term, or at least the insistence on it, was subsiding a little even uh, as the House prepared for the rare pretentious process, Mr. Nixon last April suddenly released the celebrated and shocking 1,200 pages of transcripts of White House tapes and told the nation solemnly on radio and TV that there, that there was all the evidence the House or Special Prosecutor Jaworski needed to press the case on Watergate. Now the President himself says that was not true, that he withheld evidence of his participation six days after the break-in in in the Watergate cover-up. What he did, he said, was in variance with the facts. His opponents, uncharitably, do not hesitate to charge that he lied, not only to the American people, but to his own lawyers. Whatever it's called, this substantiates by his own voluntary testimony Monday, the House Judiciary Committee charge of obstructing justice, a high crime and impeachable offense. Again, Richard Nixon has demonstrated his capacity for surprise, for springing the unpredictable. But in so doing, he has dispelled the mystery surrounding his role in Watergate. The initial White House posture to the public was one of presidential detachment from this so-called third-rate burglary. He was above the battle and busy with affairs of state, delegating to his aides both the seamy and unseamy assignments of mounting the 72 campaign. A lot of Americans, maybe even a majority at the time, found this plausible. But... To observers, including journalists, this one among them, who had watched the public career.